Hi everyone, my name is Jeff, and this is my Craftsman, aka Atlas, 12x36 uh, commercial thread cutting lathe. Uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. It's uh, from, I would say, the early 70s. I've had this lathe for a few years now, and I've done a lot of uh, neat stuff with it, but it has the limitations of being a manual lathe. Uh, so this is my first YouTube video, and the purpose of this video is to go step by step through my process of converting this lathe into CNC. Now, I plan to do a conversion, uh, what I'm calling is non-destructive. I want to make all of the parts that are going to convert this to CNC uh, bolt-on parts without any major modifications to the lathe itself so that it can be reversed and it can be turned back into a manual lathe. Uh, my intention is on the back of the bed to have a bracket with one of the stepper motors mounted in the back a ball screw that runs all the way up and attaches to the back side of the carriage and that's going to move the carriage back and forth like so and then I'm going to remove the uh, cross slide Acme screw take this right out and build an apparatus over here with another ball screw that will allow this to the the cross slide to slide back and forth that'll give you my two axes for the motor speed control not exactly sure how I want to do it yet but at first glances, I will probably take this AC motor out and we'll put some sort of a, uh, a DC variable speed motor in its place. And then an encoder on the back of the lathe for thread cutting again. Uh, have lots of details to work out. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it all yet, but I am going to do it. Over on the table here, I have uh, the parts that I've purchased so far. We've got power supply, breakout, uh, controllers, stepper motors, ball screws, and a couple little other pieces and parts. Uh, the ball screw, we've got a half inch for the cross slide and a three quarter inch for the carriage. Uh, picked those up on eBay. It's a good place to get some stuff. They would have been really expensive, but I got a pretty good deal on them. So uh, I'm going to keep track of the money that I spend as well and go through all of the, the hits and misses of the project and we will see how it goes so I will hopefully be posting at least one video a week and we can keep track of it alright see you soon